discovery in this healing journey was how implicit memory data filed in accordance with the well-being of attachment systems based on the fulfillment of internal needs, affects brain-body operations, including various styles of activation and regulation. The manner in which our brain hemispheres know how to connect and communicate, the way that our front brain understands how to communicate and connect with our hind brain, the way that our autonomic nervous system knows how to regulate and communicate within itself and within various other systems, communication within and beyond the central nervous system, instinctive regulation of hormones and neurotransmitters, all of these different miraculous brain-body modalities of operation are directly dependent on implicit memory wiring which depends upon attachment well-being. So the way that my heart knows how to beat and move blood throughout my brain and my body has less to do with the organ of my heart and more to do with the implicit memory data throughout my systems that are stored in relation to attachment well-being which depends on how experiences of love, beginning during early childhood development, have allowed various internal needs to be fulfilled. And so past moments where there was not a felt sense of safety, for example, will have created implicit memory data or neural wiring that will continue affecting my heart's ability to understand how to move blood throughout my body. It is so miraculous. The sculpting of implicit memories based on attachment well-being affect integrative patterns of the brain and regulatory protocols of the body. And this affects everything, literally everything. The way these implicit memories are wired based on attachment need fulfillment determines brainwave regulation, nervous system regulation in the central nervous system, the enteric nervous system, the autonomic nervous system, the somatic nervous system, the way that blood flows, the way that muscles engage in the face and the body, the, the way that cranial nerves function, oxygen flow, blood flow, respiration, circulation, the entire manner in which our brain and our body know how to energetically flow entirely stems from implicit memories that are organized dependent on attachment well-being. Among the infinite processes that are affected are emotions. The way we instinctively experience emotions has to do with implicit neural wiring. Implicit memories in relation to attachment well-being activate the brain and the body in a certain way. And so from the projection of implicit emotional memories to regulatory patterns in the endocrine system, the way that we instinctively encounter our own sensations and feelings and emotions has to do with the wiring of these implicit memories connected with attachment well-being that affect brain-body operations. <laughs> I just got to say, it is so, 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 <laughs> just so trippy to share this stuff because I haven't been lucid for most of my research. <laughs> I've only been gradually regaining memories about how I even got all these conclusions as I've been going through my work. I have over 2,500 notes on my phone, thousands of audio recordings, like over 2,000 video recordings. I filled 30 notebooks and 10 binders with my writings. And I have hundreds if not thousands of notes on my laptop. During that whole process, these past several years, my brain and my body have not been processing information explicitly or consciously.
it's wild. <laughs> it's just really wild. I just gotta be honest. It's so trippy to be an explicit person who is proclaiming information from a sense of self. That is not an experience I have had access to in several years. <laughs> so trippy.